Good morning on this glorious fine Sunday. And what we're going to do today is I'm going to go over to see the pair of peregrines that's got four chicks. We was there two weeks ago, so we want to see how they've developed and take a few shots of those. But first, we have a local patch and we call it the circuit. So we're going to drive around there and see what we can find. Yeah, so um, if you've not seen any of my videos before, um, often when we go out uh, in the morning, first off, we go to this local patch, we call it the circuit. It's a road around the uh, farmer's fields. And um, we often see the little owl, uh, hares, uh, red leg partridges. Went last night, didn't re really see a lot, but there was this red leg partridge and um, it was really obliging. They like to sort of stand on uh, a little heap so that they're raised up and they'll do the calls. And when they do the calls, they're obviously trying to attract uh, uh, a mate. But got one last night that was, um, yes, I say, it was really, really obliging. So uh, I'll let you have a look and show you what they've come out like. So if you look on the right here, you see that little mound? You see that little mound? That's where that red leg partridge just stood on top of that and we was literally sort of 20, 25 foot away from it. Okay, well this morning the light is absolutely fantastic. The sun's behind lots and lots of clouds. Uh, there's a low cloud base today and that filters the harshness of the light. But there is also a slight mist around. Now one thing I don't want you to ever be disheartened about is that is when you feel you've got the exact settings that you need for that shot, and you get back to the computer and it's just not come out that's not your fault that will definitely happen with wildlife photography the situations that you're in is depending on what the atmosphere is the subject might be 50 foot away so between you and 50 foot there could be something in the air a little bit of mist a little bit of pollution there could be something that will baffle you. You think, I've got my settings absolutely spot on, but the pictures come out terrible. So never, ever, ever be disheartened when that picture of that special subject, it will be a special subject one day, and it doesn't come out, and you've got all your camera settings perfect. It's the conditions of the atmosphere that you're working in, and it'll sometimes it'll drive you mad but that's wildlife photography you can't always get it exactly right but you know when you do get it right the pictures that you will be producing will be absolutely stunning right so we're back now with the peregrines i'll show you a picture from two weeks ago that was one of the chicks so now have a look at them how they've turned out and that's just two weeks after they're fantastic, aren't they? I've been coming here quite a bit and one thing that's always amazed me is the amount of pigeons on the building and these peregrines, obviously they eat pigeons and I've always thought well how come they're not attacking those there well today it happened so this time the peregrine was perched on one of the um, ledgers it was looking over and it saw this pigeon and this white pigeon was just flying next to one of the bays straight on it like a dart so um, here's some shots I'll show you exactly what happened there
that special subject, and it will be a special subject, and it will be a special sub sub. I can't say it. it will. It will be a special subject one day, and it doesn't come out, and you've got all your camera settings perfect.